2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Talking about this truth that y'all talk. Okay, that's a good answer. They compromise. There's another thing. This is why. Read this. Not many mighty, not many noble are called. Read it again from verse 26. Listen good to this, sister. Listen good to this. Listen good to this. Watch this. Paul is explaining who the Lord is choosing. That does not mean LeBron James, Beyonce, certain political leaders. That don't mean they're not going to repent. Right. What it's saying is, the bulk of the people coming in, a lot of them, watch, listen good. For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, meaning not many wise men educationally, that can make movements off of the drop of a dime. God is going to say, you're not going to see a lot of them in this movement. They're there, but what are they doing? They're following behind closed doors. Because they can't be seen pushing the redemption for black and Hispanics. Why? What's going to stop? Their money. Their money. That's why when Christ was on the scene, a lot of believers that had money, they secretly followed Christ. They secretly followed Christ. When Trayvon Martin was shot dead, sorry, not Trayvon Martin, the other one. Michael Brown, when he was shot dead, guess who donated a lot of money to his funeral that nobody knew? Prince. He did it as an anonymous donation. Why? Because he knows the so-called white man is following people with money. What organizations are you helping? What people do you back? You understand? The so-called white man, what's his plan? To keep blacks and Hispanics on the bottom. And anybody with power, if you help them, cut his check. You don't think Jay-Z and all these celebrities see they know the truth? Of course they know the truth, but it's about money. Right. They can't be seen in the public eye helping blacks and Hispanics. Jay-Z has over $200 million. You don't think he could change up Brooklyn on the drop of a dime? Yes! Why doesn't he do it? Because his money will stop. Right. You understand? So you gotta ask yourself, why do so many people wanna make sure blacks and Hispanics don't prosper? Because you're the people of God. Read on. How that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble. Who's the mighty men? You're LeBron James. You're powerful, you're strong men. What's the short boxer name? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. These are your mighty men. Read. Not many noble. Who's our noble man? That's your Farrakhan. That's your Cornell West. That's your, what's the Jamaican guy, the political guy from Jamaica, light skin. What's his name? Hold on. The light-skinned brother from Jamaica who was, I forgot his name. Read it again. Not many noble are called. So our noblemen are our assembly men, our political leaders. These are our noblemen. The Bible says not many of them are called. But who did God call into this work? But God have chosen the foolish things of the world. You know what the foolish things of the world? People like you and me, Jay Sean. We were nobody. When people walk by, who the hell is this nigga right here? But if you see Louis Farrakhan, you like, oh, yo, this is Louis Farrakhan, of course. This is, uh, who's another big guy? This is LeBron James, of course. He would say something like this. But when people like you and me are saying something so powerful, people step back like, wait, who is this guy? I could easily take him out. We can easily be killed for what we're saying. The day's gonna come where they didn't take our life. Come on. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world. But the Bible says God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Who's the wise? That so-called white man. Guess what the white man did? He built churches. He's taught in religion that God, Christ, and the angels are all white. 
but with what we teach, everybody can see it's a lie. So he's chosen people that are nothing, us, to confound the wise. That's right. Listen, keep going. And God had chosen the weak things of the world. The weak things of the world is what? Some brothers used to sell drugs. Right. Now they're here teaching God's people to come in. That's right. Some brothers used to be in gangs, murdered people. Now they're teaching people to come in. Right. Some brothers used to be have good jobs, principles. Now they change their life. They're teaching people to come in. God is calling everybody. Listen. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. The weak things are us. The mighty things is America, the country. Jeremiah 28 verse 8. You have a question so far, sis? Yeah, got a question. I can't remember right okay. now. Okay, okay, okay. Sis, you have a question so far? Just listen, I want to praise you. Y'all got questions right there? No questions? Okay. What's your question, sis? get into heaven. Okay. Mm. That's a great question. Listen, I want to see what everybody else did. Who can get into heaven? Hold on, brother. Give me scripture of who can get into heaven. Oh, you know, you know that, sis. You know we're going to get scripture. I don't know you. I don't you know, know you. Uh, hold on. Let me ask. Let me ask. Who can get into heaven? What do you think? Those who accept Jesus Christ. Those who accept Jesus Christ. Okay. And, and the Lord and Savior. Who can get into heaven? Anybody who repents and go to God. Who can get into heaven? You don't know. Okay, okay. Who can get into heaven, brother? Who God chose it. Okay. I'm going to show you. In heaven, everybody's going to be in heaven. All races will be in heaven. But the real question is, who will be ruling in heaven? Give me Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you. Now, the people that's going to be delivered from the destruction that's coming to America are blacks and Hispanics that keep God's laws. But remember about heaven. Let me show you. Stay right there. Sis, don't run. I'm not going Matthew anywhere. Matthew 6. The Lord's Prayer, verse 9. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. Stop. Thy kingdom come, thy will What's the question? Hey, I told him I said it might be offensive, but I'm not no, sure. No, no, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. So, from what I read... Yes. I don't forget about your question, Sister Nassau. We've been on the planet longer than the Bible. We've been on the planet longer than the Bible. I'm only saying that for this. Um, I'm pretty sure they even was one of many religions. Okay. And then we have war. And then the Bible showed up. So are you saying the Bible it has some truth but it's been tampered with? I'm saying that they, I, I believe that they knew we would come back to God, but they don't want us to, so they did stuff to it to even make us to the get Bible, off the trail. To make us get off the trail of the truth. Or disprove it. Or just prove What they said again. Okay, let me, I'm going to answer both questions at the same time. Psalms 111 and verse, Psalms 19 verse 7. Let me show you something. The Bible, there's no lies in the Bible. Now, there's some things in the Bible that's hard to comprehend. That is definitely a truth. But there's no false in the Bible, nothing false. Now let's read this. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect. In the Bible, what do you read? Laws, statutes, and commandments. For example, according to the Bible, you are not to commit adultery against your wife. According to the Bible, you are not to steal. According to the Bible, you are not to be a homosexual. Right. According to the Bible, a woman cannot be a lesbian. Right. America says, no, you can be whatever the hell you want to be. But God says that's not true. Right. And you know what's so funny? Doesn't America say they're a Christian country? Yeah. Don't America, don't they swear on the Bible in court? Right. 
I just wanted to digress to that point. Now, read this. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Come on. The testimony of the Lord is short. The testimony of the Lord, it says, is short. What's the testimony? Like when you go in court, you have to testify. The Bible, it has testimonies in there. Jeremiah, he testified the things that he saw. So don't leave yet. It's going to get good. It's about to get good. It got hot. Okay, okay. Did you get a flyer? I didn't get a flyer. Okay. So, in the Bible, Isaiah, he testified what he saw. In the Bible, Matthew, he testified what he saw. And what did they do? These men wrote it down. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going to answer a question. You never answered it, right? No, no, no. no, no, no. I did. I'm going to show the scripture. I said, everybody's going to be in heaven. What you said. I said, but the question is. Exactly. I'm going to show you that part. Give me Isaiah chapter 14. So now, I went to the Lord's prayer to show that heaven will be in earth. Heaven's not going to be in the sky. The kingdom of heaven's going to be on earth. That's why in Revelation, John says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. He saw this. Yeah, give me that scripture. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Bible says the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Now listen, it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Bring it out. And will yet choose Israel. And the Bible says he will yet choose Israel. Listen. And set them in their own land. It says he's going to set Israel in their own land. What does that mean? Where are black children's men is going to go back to? Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me finish up with the question, go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Now, the Bible says in the kingdom of heaven, the strangers shall be joined with them. Who? Jacob. Israel, who we said. Keep reading. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The Bible says the strange nations, the strangers, will cleave to the house of Jacob. Read on. And the people shall take them. The people shall take them. Who? The strangers. Of heaven. That's right. He's going to 
give the black man rulership. Listen, Isaiah chapter 60, we're going to read verse 11. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 11, verse 10, verse 10. And the sons of strangers, the sons of strangers, God says, listen, shall build up thy wall. Did God say we're going to build up the walls? No. He said the sons of strangers are going to build up your walls. The children of the Chinese, they're going to build up the walls. The children of the Japanese, they're going to build up the walls. The children of the East Indians, they're going to build up the walls. unto us. Read. For in my wrath I smote thee. God says in my wrath I smote you. How? He sent us into slavery. Read. But in my favor, but in my favor when Christ comes back, right. have I had mercy on thee. I'm going to have mercy on you. Read. Therefore thy gates Wait, 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 wait. Let's not go too fast. Now what does he say to Isaiah? Remember, he showed Isaiah this in a vision. Isaiah is writing it down what he sees.
make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.